Hi there, it's Roy Breton here from Garden Equipment Review. Hope you're doing okay. Um, today we're looking at the Steger Zero Turn Ride on Mower. Um, over the past few days we've been looking at various uh, different Zero Turn mowers. Um, Steger are popular for their um, out front mowers, this type of machine. And a few weeks ago we were looking at, um, let's uh, go back to the, uh, stop the, here we are. Um, then they do a range of out front mowers which are highly manoeuvrable but today we're looking at the zero turn machines um, which are, are the most manoeuvrable machines on the on the market um, let's just have put here the zero turn advantage now a zero turn mower has two hydrostatic motors attached individually to each rear wheel a hydrostatic motor offers a variable speed and instant forward and reverse on these two levers. So with the caster wheels to go to turn 360 degrees and the hydrostatic motors you've got independent forward and reverse. So you can literally just swing round in the length or width of the mower. They really are amazingly manoeuvrable. Just need to take care if you're turning sharply um, to, to do it gently, not, not to tear the turf, but once you get used to the machine you can um, compensate for that and move the wheels together. But um, I've had several of these machines, um, not, not this actual machine, not the Steger, but zero turn machines and um, the reason I've had several is because of their manoeuvrability. I've, I've had walk behind machines and uh, ride on machines. So look, let's take a look at the features. Um, as I mentioned, the most manoeuvrable <coughs> mowers on the market. Um, these are perfect for areas with obstacles and low hanging branches. You can literally just weave in and out um, and s swing around things. Now, block, different manufacturers vary on how much quicker they are, and that does depend on the site. But on one site I was working, I had two to three acres, and it took uh, three hours with a, a ride on tractor and uh, 50 minutes with the, with the zero turn. Now, the ride on tractor, I was collecting grass, the zero term mulching, which does make a difference, but the, the biggest uh, thing that speeded up the job was the zero term features, just I can't um, stress how manoeuvrable they are, once you've had a zero turn you won't want to go back to a traditional tractor. Um, so optional mulching feature, in, in my eyes this should be a standard feature, I'd definitely go for that. as. Um, mulching access as a green fertiliser and uh, obviously no grass clipping, clippings to collect. Um, the machine's powered by a Briggs & Stratton engine. Um, I've all, always liked Briggs & Stratton engines, never had, um, in fact I've had absolutely minimal problems over the past 35 years with these engines. Uh, very reliable, um, parts are cheap and uh, dealers are everywhere, which is great. Um, there's electronic clutch blade engagement, just literally flip a switch, um, pull a switch, whatever type of switch it is, and the, and the blade will engage. Just take care. The, the, the blades can be engaged at low revs. Don't, don't rev the machine up and snatch the clutch in, as this will wear the clutch quicker. Just engage the blades on tick over. Um, there's an anti scalp feature on the cutting deck, so if, to give, if your grass is a bit uneven, this helps to stop. Um, or minimise sculpting, uh, adjustable seat, um, always useful, um, many times lawns aren't particularly level, um, so that they can be a bit rough, so it's important to have a, uh, a good seat to sit on. Uh, there's an optional tow hitch available, so the tow hitch enables you to uh, tow a trailer, always useful in the garden, a sprayer, uh, collector, um, numerous things really so to me that's um, definitely worth buying and finally you've got the three year piece of mind warranty so uh, uh, so warranty is something I always look at um, so, so very important no, no bills for three years apart from your servicing um, down here I put the eBay link just so if, if you're looking for a second hand machine um, you may be able to find one on eBay just take care when buying second hand obviously but I always like to see what's, what's around um, and that's, um, that's that's about it really but um, if you've got questions um, we've got a comment box just down here please feel free to leave a comment or 
uh, comment on this YouTube video and uh, I will try and answer your questions. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.